13.05 to play first half. Here's Ryan, play fake to Davis. Pressure coming, Matt. Now backs up, will loop it. Wide open pits. Kyle fell down at the 20, back to his feet, and then tackled by White at the 15. Hey, what's up, Falcons fans? This is Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. I am DJ Shockley, and I'm going to take you through about two or three plays of Arthur Smith's scheme. Some to look forward to next season, but just to show you some of the creativity, some of the things that work this offseason, this, this season, actually, that propels them into the offseason. So I'm going to show you a couple plays that I thought were really well designed and the Falcons executed at a high level something that you Falcons fans should be excited about going into next season because these are plays that are in Arthur Smith's scheme that worked really well. Let's go back to this Jacksonville Jaguars game here. And it starts with, you got Pitts in the ball game here. It comes over in motion. Now this is going to be a little inside zone here, but what you like about it is he's creating the leverage already outside. By bringing him across in motion, you have the leverage you want already. And you're going to bring Keith Smith in motion too. But these guys do such a great job of combo and block and up into the next level. Combo block here, you're going to get up to the linebacker and now you got space on the outside and when Keith Smith comes over, because of this motion, he creates the leverage on this backside end and now you got a chance for a big play out the gate. Come across in motion. Now here's the leverage you like here. Get up on this next level on the backer here. Cal is already reaching, blocking out here. Look at all the guys, seal blocking, doing a good job of turning, getting his body this way so that now you create a two-way go on the outside for the back here. So now he has a two-way go here or here. You got one guy in the middle who can't be right. And look at, look at Jake blocking 10 yards down the field. Nice seal block here. Now you got a nice crease here. These are staple plays inside the Arthur Smith scheme that allows you to be good and have the run game you like. And ultimately it comes up with a big 19-yard game. These are the type of plays and schemes you should look forward to next year because these will always be a staple in the Arthur Smith offense. All right, the next play I want to talk about is what happens pre-snap as opposed to what happens post-snap and how quickly it, he forces a defense to react. On this particular play here, look, it looks like you got five wide. You got five guys out in this lineup, but on a snap, here comes all the motion. Look at all the guys moving. Look at creativity. Now this forces the defense to think fast. And the other part about this is as soon as the guys get lined up, they're snapping the ball immediately. So look at all these guys out here talking, communicating. They're trying to figure out who has who, where you're going to go. But they snap the ball really quickly. And now you're going to have a play where you get Kyle Pitts out on the edge here, coming on this big over route. Let's go back to the previous part of the play and how quickly it happens. And as these guys are still talking, look at these guys still talking, still communicating, trying to figure out where the ball is going to go. And now you get a quick flat here. You got a corner route right here to stretch the field. And because now you had Kyle Pitts in this nub set, this corner, this safety has to play off. And now you get an easy access throw on the bootleg from Matt coming across. Nice job of seal blocking by Hurst. And now you got another explosive play and another explosive gain there on first down. The creativity from pre-snap to post-snap are things that are always being in this scheme and always in the system. And it's a reason why they were able to have some big explosive plays just like this one against the Cowboys. The last part of it is when you have different personnel in the ball game, you think certain things are happening for an offense. Well, in this offense, anything can happen with anybody on the field. This particular formation or personnel is 13. You got one back and three tight ends. Usually this tells you this is a heavy run set. You don't think this is going to be play action, deep shot down the field with three tight ends in the ball game. But again, watch what happens pre-snap. You got motion with a tight end coming across, and then he's going to come back across again and now you got all this action up front. You got the tight end coming across here. You got the action from the back to come on the outside. And then now, also, you have this tight split by Kyle Pitts at the bottom of the screen. You got tight split at the top of the screen as well. You're going to get a clear out here across the top. And then you're going to have a big over route here, which created the space. And these linebackers are worried about what's happening in the backfield. So you got a lot of things happening at the point of attack, at the line of scrimmage. That's keeping the eyes in the backfield. And now look at all the space. Now he's going to clear this out, gets this safety out of the way. These linebackers were already up because they saw action out the backfield. And now you have three tight ends in the ball game, and you have an explosive play. Kyle Pitts coming across. You got Hayden Hurst out in the flat. Your back is out in the flat. So a good distribution of the play here. And the guys end up blocking it up really well. And here it is, another big-time completion on the outside with three tight ends in the ball game. You never know what's going to happen. This has been a fun season to watch Arthur Smith and his staff made to create some real fun and exciting plays for you. Look forward to seeing more of these next season and more ways to get this offense rolling and scoring tons of points. I want to thank you guys for joining me. 
As always, it's been fun to bring you Falcons Film Review powered by Microsoft Surface. We'll see you next year.